Howdy y'all, DJTJ here with Inkscape tutorial number 10, the pencil tool. The pencil tool can be found on your toolbox right here, it looks like a pencil. The quick command for it is P, and the cursor looks like a pencil with a little crosshair or a plus symbol. So when you select your pencil, the first thing you want to do is make sure that it's set to create regular path and none. And I'll go over what this does. So it works very similar to the pen tool because it creates nodes and paths to connect those nodes. But it just does it in a more free flow manner. You have sort of less control, but that can be a good thing at times. It works really well if you have a tablet. You can write in cursive or you can do some really interesting flourishes with the pencil tool. Today I'll be using a mouse to show you guys how this works. So let's go ahead and set our smoothness down to about 13 and I'm going to draw a U shape. Now we can see this U shape is very rough and it captured almost every little bump and twist that I made. If I press N and bring up the nodes tool it's going to have hundreds of nodes and paths. So let's go back and press P. Let's set our smoothness up to around 40. I like to run the smoothest between 35 and 45. I find you get the best um, just general smoothness. And we'll draw another U shape. So this U shape is obviously way smoother. We don't see all the rough spots. We'll press N. And it's made with three nodes. So that's pretty nice press the P key and we'll set the smoothness up let's do like 90 and draw another U and this one's even smoother press the N and there's only two nodes and one path back to the pencil tool so we'll set the smoothing back around the 30s if you create spiro path what this does is it just naturally smooths out what you're drawing. So if I was to do sort of a wavy line, it'll sort of smooth it for you. So let's set this up a little higher. And once again, I'll draw a wavy line. Now with the smoothness that high, it made that wavy line straight because it's trying to smooth it too much. So if you ever are drawing with the pencil tool and you keep getting straight lines, check that the smoothness isn't set too high and you don't have spir um, the spiral path on. The spline path is sort of an advanced path and you can't really see what it's doing unless you press N and then you can see that there's sort of these invisible paths that are manipulating this curve and you can change and sort of manipulate how all that works. We're going to press P again. So the next important thing is you can always reset everything to default with the broom tool. We'll go to the shapes drop down and look at triangle N. So right now if it's set to none you're basically making all your paths are just lines. They're basically strokes and you can manipulate them in the stroke palette. If you change it to triangle in and out and ellipse, they're going to make more shapes. They're not necessarily strokes anymore. So let's do a triangle in. Let's set the spiral. Smoothness about 40 and let's draw something like this. So it's smoothed out and it made a nice tapered line. That's what the triangle in does. Now when we talk about triangle, it's literally making a triangle. So how can you tell? Well, if we go back to the Edit Nodes tool and you click on your first point, you can click, hold, and drag it out to make that a thicker line. So now we've given it some size. The P, press P, go back to the pencil. You can add to that. Start making little flourishes. Wow, that went crazy. And that's what you'll have to get. When you start a playing playing with a pencil tool, you'll sort of see how it's working. And you can keep adding on to that if you want to make a flourish. Also, when you have triangle inset, if you make that a path, 
you can do that several different ways by going to the path drop down object to path or you can select the node tool and then click object to path and it converted this triangle in path to a full path not just a line now if we press the Z key and zoom in go back to the end now it's made nodes that are editable so let's stretch that out some do that press 5 to go back to full screen and now we've made a leaf on the end of our tiny tiny branch so that's one of the things you'll see with the pencil tool people do a lot is use to make flourishes and such as that now you can t take and not just use a triangle in and a triangle out or an ellipse you can take things from your clipboard and do that and then we're sort of sort of advanced techniques that you can learn later so that just about does it for the pencil tool please watch our next tutorial inkscape tutorial number 11 the calligraphy tool thanks for watching